Hi, Erin McKenzie here, and today I'm going to be talking about uh, Lab 11. I'm going to show you how to do an inoculation of a cinnamon citrate auger slant. So you previously have watched some videos uh, from Pearson on how to do the phenol red fermentation broth, as well as how to do the methyl red votes press cure test. So I'm just going to kind of cover a little bit about the cinnamon citrate auger slant uh, and show you how to do an inoculation on that. But before I get started, uh, I want to make sure that I'm using the aseptic technique. So that being said, I've already got my hair in a ponytail, I don't have any jewelry on, and I'm going to go ahead and clean my workbench to make sure it's as sterile as possible. Now the other thing I would note is if I did have a Bunsen burner, I would go ahead and light that Bunsen burner and uh, have it going uh, prior to doing the experiment here uh, because I'm going to be needing it to do the inoculation. So a little bit about cinnamon citrate auger before we get started. Okay, cinnamon citrate auger, you'll notice it's got a green color to it, uh, and it's in the form of a slant. The whole purpose of this test is to determine if your bacteria is capable of using citrate as a sole carbon source, okay? Meaning that they can just use the citrate for their source of carbon. Now, bacteria that are capable of doing this will actually produce ammonia as a product of this reaction. So in the case of our cinnamon citrate auger slant, we have a pH indicator called bromothymol blue that's included in the media. Now, you'll notice when the pH is neutral, bromothymol blue is actually a green color. So what happens is, if your bacteria is capable of using the citrate in the media and breaking it down, so to speak, then ammonia is gonna be produced, which is gonna cause the pH to go up or become alkaline, and that will cause bromothymol blue to change from a green color to a really pretty blue color. And that would indicate a positive result for using citrate as the sole carbon source. Okay, so if it turns blue, then great, it's positive. If not, then it would be negative, okay? So in doing my inoculation here, okay, the first step is, of course, I'm gonna use my inoculating loop and I am going to sterilize it. So again, imagine I have a Bunsen burner here in my kitchen. I would sterilize my loop by holding it at an angle, okay? And then I'm going to uh, make sure it gets red hot and then I'm gonna allow it to cool. Now, as it is cooling, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna transfer bacteria from a slant onto my citrate auger slant, okay? So let's imagine my loop has had some time to cool. I'm going to aseptically remove the lid. Okay, again, I'm not gonna place it down on the table, okay? I'm using my pinky. Once I remove the lid, I'm going to pass the test tube through the flame of the Bunsen burner to sterilize the outside part of the test tube. I'm going to take my loop and I'm going to go in at an angle so that I don't damage the auger, but rather I'm just going to gently scrape off a little bit of bacteria from the surface of the auger. Okay, all you need is a little bit of bacteria. Okay, now I'm going to pass my tube through the flame one more time to sterilize it. And then I'm going to take my bacteria that's on my loop and I'm going to transfer it into the slant. So if you recall, when we transfer into a slant, we are going to do a fishtail method. So I'm going to remove the lid of my auger slant, my cinnamon citrate auger slant. I'm going to pass it through the flame. I'm going to take my bacteria and I'm going to start down at the bottom of the slant. And then very, very gently, I'm just going to zigzag my way up the slant. Again, making sure not to damage the auger. Okay? All right. Flame my test tube, put the lid back on, and then I will flame my inoculating loop. And we have successfully done a transfer into a cinnamon citrate auger slant. So at this point, again, the inoculation part is not that difficult. Uh, but we would put it in the incubator, uh, depending on the culture, at 37 degrees of normal body temperature or possibly 30 degrees if it likes a lower temperature. And so we would put it in the incubator. We would come in 24 to 48 hours later and we would look to see if it turned a blue color. Again, if it turned blue, the organism can use citrate as the sole carbon source. So thank you for watching.